striking the right note to win an election after an assassination attempt on a rival? That's the challenge facing U.S. President Joe Biden. We all have a responsibility to lower the temperature, temperature and condemn violence in any form. Speaking in front of black voters in Las Vegas, Nevada, Tuesday, he did that by linking the shooting that injured Donald Trump in his Pennsylvania rally Saturday with violence perpetrated against African Americans, including George Floyd, who was killed by a white police officer in 2020, and to victims of gun violence, calling to reenact a U.S. ban on assault weapons that expired in 2004. An AR-15 was used in the shooting of Donald Trump. This was an assault weapon that killed so many others, including children. It's time to outlaw them. I did it once and I will do it again. The shooting inflicted only a minor injury to Donald Trump. The former president and Republican nominee arrived with a bandaged right ear Monday at his party's national convention in Milwaukee to a raucous welcome. For Biden, whose weak debate performance last month triggered questions about his age and mental acuity, the assassination attempt on his rival adds an additional layer of complication. You've got to, on the one hand, allay concerns about his fitness for office. You've got to create separation from the opposition, um, the Republican Party, which is enjoying a moment of ascendance. Um, and you've got to call for unity and, and to disavow political violence and to do all those three, three things simultaneously is extraordinarily difficult for anybody. Currently, Biden lags behind Trump nationally and in various swing states, including Nevada. Aiming to win black support, Biden contrasted his policies with his rivals. He mocked the term black jobs that Trump often uses. Folks, I know what a black job is. It's a vice president of the United States. Biden repeated calls for Americans to treat each other not as enemies. Trump, uncharacteristically subdued after the attempt on his life, has also called for unity. But many expect the calm to last only temporarily, with campaigning set to intensify following the party's political conventions. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News, Washington.